Hello, everyone. My name is Leon, and I'm from the Singapore Students Association Japan. And today, I'll give a report on what our organization has been doing in the past year, as well as introduce ourselves. Uh, so to introduce ourselves, uh, my name is Leon. I'm the current president of the Singapore Students Association Japan, and I'm here today with my vice president, external, uh, Stephen. So if you're in SSAJ, our exco runs for a one-year term, and at the end of our term, there's an election to decide the new exco. Uh, currently, our exco consists of uh, six members in these positions. So here we are the student organized association for Singaporean students studying in Japan. We cover all of Japan, and our main spawn, uh, supporters here are so as shown below. Jugas is the Japanese University Graduate Association of Singapore, which is the association for people who have graduated. Uh, JASO, and lastly, uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs Singapore, which is more the embassy of Singapore in Tokyo. So we currently have around 160 members in our association spread out across Japan. Most are in Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, but there are also members spread out in other prefectures. Uh, so we have a bunch of aims here. The first one is to help um, students settle into Japan. So one of the things we run is the Senpai Kohai program during spring and autumn. Um, it is basically a program for Kohais who are just starting out life in Japan to be able to meet uh, senpais so that they can exchange information and have an easier time moving in and getting started in their life in Japan. The next thing we do is the SSAJ Guide to Life in Japan. So this is about a 80 plus pages uh, document in English that very comprehensively lines, uh, lines, lines out the basics of getting started to life in Japan. So this thing has been uh, this an ongoing effort for past exco's in the in many years and it is we are also continuing it now and it has helped many many members uh to get to get started in their new life in japan we also have a bi-weekly newsletter that we send out to our members so the newsletter is a useful way to let our members know what ssaj is doing and what are some important events that are coming up and stuff like this and lastly also we have uh meetups your gathering sessions and uh, bonding sessions and games. This happen about two times every two months and usually around uh, important festivals in the year, such as uh, autumn, Christmas, and Lunar New Year. Uh, now I'll hand over the time to my Vice President, Stephen. Thank you, Leon. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Stephen. I'm currently the Vice President External for Singapore Students Association in Japan. So today I'll cover our external, our external initiatives so basically, uh, apart from supporting students who have just arrived in Japan, we also support students who have studied about two or uh, two, three years in Japan and are looking to settle down in Japan permanently. So as part of initiatives, uh, we are trying to offer them a taste of home, uh, more specifically, uh, Singaporean cuisine. So we, this is uh, achieved by partnering with Singaporean eateries, mainly in Tokyo. So we offer up to 20% discount for students when dining in uh, Singaporean restaurants uh, at a sele selected timings. So we currently have nine collaborations with Singaporean restaurants and counting. Our next piece. And secondly, we also offer robust career support to Singaporean students who are looking to work in Japan. So we partner with many Japanese and Singaporean headhunting companies, um, mainly Originator and Personal and many more. We also partner with individual companies and other student bodies such as Bloomberg, as well as Max Scholars Association. Next please. Um, and apart from, um, as covered just now, um, apart from reaching out to students who have just arrived in Japan, as well as students who have already studied Japan for two or three years, we're also active in reaching out to prospective students back in Singapore who are interested in studying Japan. So this is achieved by, firstly, uh, we are organizing studying Japan booths in Singaporean high schools. So in last year, we have organized two uh, such initiatives in Anglo-Chinese School Independent Singapore, as well as Hwachong Institution in Singapore. Our next piece. Mm, we also um, run a one-stop portal guide called Study in Japan. It covers all information for um, Japan study related affairs. We cover language schools, undergraduate programs, graduate programs, and even exchange programs. We also cover useful information such as scholarships available, uh, the timelines when applying to Japanese universities, and also um, the expenses we live in um, popular cities such as uh, Tokyo as, as well as Osaka. Next piece. In addition, we also collaborate with Japanese language schools 
um, because these places usually have a lot, a lot of students who are considering studying Japan upon graduation. We also partner with Embassy of Japan in Singapore, which have agreed to us place our flyers and posters to raise awareness about our existence. Next, please. Um, so for SSAJ, we do not work on ourselves. Uh, we also partner with our senior organizations, uh, specifically JUGAS, which stands for Japanese University Graduates Association of Singapore. Uh, it's, it's an association for Singaporean students who have studied in Japan and are now working in Singapore. And also ASEJU, which stands for Association of Singaporean Expatriates from Japanese Universities. It is for Singaporeans who have graduated from Japanese universities and are now currently working in Japan. Next, please. And you can find out more about us um, via the uh, ssaj.net, uh, which can be accessed through the QR code on the left, and our portal site called studyjapan.sg, which can be accessed via the QR code on the right side. So I've come to the end of my presentation, and thank you for listening. All right. Well, I think we.